Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the concept of layering of logic or you can say layers of logic in Blue Prism. This is very crucial practice in RPA that helps in building scalable, maintainable and efficient solutions. I will also walk you through a practical example to show you how this can be implemented. So let's get started. First, let's understand what the layers of logic means. Layers of logic, you can say layering of logic, refers to the practice of separating the different types of logic into distinct layers or you can say components or pages. First, you can understand with the two main components of Blue Prism. First, is the processes second is the objects so based on the layers of logic we are separating these two components this processes is for the business logic where the high level logic that defines what the processes does and then object logic so here the detailed steps that interact with the applications to perform the task and if you are creating and if you have only one or basically that only one workspace where you need to write your business processes and also your application modeler those things also you need to um, add here then that is very hard to manage that but now if we are separating these things into two different layers one is for the business logic and second is for the object logic like for the processes and objects so here it's easy to separate the interaction with the application that is separate or defining the high level logic in the processes that is separate. In the terms of processes, layers of logic means breaking down a process diagram into a specific task and each arranged on individual pages within a layered hierarchy. First, which is main and important is the main page which determines the flow through the sub pages and the approach ensures that a process is easy to manage and maintain so here in the process in the main page everything is written into the one page now if you want to apply the layers of logic then you will have to separate these task modular wise separate this task to a different different page and then call the pages here you can see here we have a page stage once you drag and drop to the workspace it will ask you to add a new page and create a reference to it or add a new page without creating a reference to it so if you click on this click next you can enter the page name and after that you can create a reference to here on this this page yourself so let's talk about this one so let's say here we have create instance open workbook get worksheet as a collection and then close workbook these four steps we have these four actions we have that is used to read excel file and store in a collection so for this we need to create an instance open the workbook and then read that get worksheet the complete data in a collection and then close the workbook so these four instances these four actions can be moved to a different sub pages so here we'll have only one page second we have remove empty rows and add to queues so this can be used and move to one page that is add to queue now here we have launch data solutions launch centrix data solutions and then get credential centrix data solutions login these three can be moved to one page so i have already done this one so let me show you separately these four and add to queue have been moved to the add items to queue and here we have one page called get excel as a collection and then after getting that it's adding the item to queue so we have one 
master page that we can say main page and then from here we are calling each sub pages after adding the items to queue we have one page that is launch and login which is these three moved there launch and login you can see a separate page here where it's launching getting the candle cell and the log login here now what is the benefit of layering of logic the benefits of layers of logic first clarity so breaking down the task into the individual pages sub pages makes the process easier to understand so if you want to understand this add items to queue you can go to the sub pages and you can see first is going to get the data read the excel as a collection so you can go to this separately it's creating the instance opening the workbook getting the walks as a collection closing the workbook right and then after that remove empty rows and then count that and add items to queue second is that modularity each page can be developed and tested independently so if you want to test this launch and login you can test it separately there's no need to try running from here right directly you can check this one that's working or not and then you can modify here third benefit is that maintainability changes can be made to one page without impacting others so if you want to make any changes here you can modify that but if you are here and if you are removing anything then it will disturb the design also and it will it can disturb the other fourth benefits scalability new features or tasks can be added more easily or modifying or adding sub pages so here you can add any actions anything you can add here or you can easily remove that it will not disturb your main page and the last benefits but not the list is the reusability sub pages can be reused in the main page here thank you for watching this video i hope this video helped you understand the concept of layering of logic in blue prism if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe if you have any question or suggestion feel free to leave them in comments below until next time happy learning